Yeah, I've been with the racing industry now since I was 16 and loved the track work. Just the flying around <laughs> was really good, yeah. Then I helped Donna Graham out. She's a horse breaker. She used to call me when her breakers were ready to get on. After that, yes, I got my trainer's licence. I only had it for a, a couple of years because I got really sick. And when I was in hospital, I first met Nikki and I told Nikki that I'd rode and all of that. And then she encouraged me to get this NDIS plan and then I could start riding out here at Horsepower and see how I went. And the first time I came riding, I was so excited to get back on a horse. And I had Cookie introduce him and he was so lovely. And he just accepted me the way I was, which was awesome. My first ride was about 10 minutes long because I couldn't take any more because I was a bit wibbly wobbly. He'd take off and I'd go, ooh, and he'd go that way and i But as soon as I seen him and he seen me, He's like, we're blended, you're off the track, old girl, and I've retired old, you know. I'm more confident on the horse than I am on the ground now because I've been with Cookie and, you know, I've got such good staff here at Horsepower that are gathered around me if anything happened. The girls have got me, you know. It's just been incredible. After a stroke, you tend to isolate yourself, stay at home. Coming to Horsepower is awesome. I'm still not confident in company, but I'm so confident with horsepower behind me. I reckon they put me a good six, eight months ahead of where I would have been without Cookie. To find that off the track horse can be such a help to somebody with handicaps, you would never believe, but it just shows horses have a life after racing. And so does somebody with a stroke. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's great. That felt awesome. <laughs>